Practices have been going great. Um, we're working really hard on just kind of getting in game shape. The game's totally changed with the shot clock. Um, so everything's kind of at a much faster pace. Uh, so we're working a lot on transition, getting the ball down in a certain amount of time so that our attack has time to work with and go through the plays and get as many shot opportunities as possible. Um, we're changing defense up a little, adding you know, straight man, a couple of zones, things like that. Um, so things are similar to last year, but different at the same time. So we're returning a bunch of key players. Um, we have two all ODAC players returning. And I think that we're really strong. We have a great freshman class in that's learning the ropes, figuring out how this game is played at this level. Um, we have a new goalie, freshman goalie, so she's figuring out how the best way to communicate with everyone. Um, my main focus this year has been everyone figuring out their role on this team because with losing a solid class of five seniors, all of our returners' roles have changed as well. So the freshmen have to find their role, and so do the returners. We start off the season with a strong competitor, Christopher Newport. Um, they're usually a tough program to play against. We've been preparing for the last week for them. Um, over spring break, we have Salem College. Um, Miss Kingdom's coming down for their spring break, and then we go to Frostburg. So we do have a pretty tough start, um, and then we'll start conference play with Lynchburg, which is definitely one of our biggest competitors. With how the team ended last year, my goal is to just improve off of that. Um, I've been telling the girls from the very beginning that this year needs to just be all about improvement. So they had a lot of tough one goal games last year and our goal is to get back into that overtime or to win the game by one instead of the other way around. Um, we do, the ODAC is a very tough conference, so we do have some top competitors. Um, one of the a couple of the biggest ones are Lynchburg, Roanoke, uh, Randolph-Macon, and then WNL, who's number three in the country, is always really tough for us, along with Shenandoah. So we do have some tough games ahead of us.